Hey, what's up, high performers and camp believers? Welcome to a, another Mentorship Monday and the Can't Believe I Made It podcast. I am your high performance mentor and coach, Desi Abeta, as well as your podcast host. I, you know, anytime I do these intros, I'm like, I, I, I have it in my head that it's just something that I do all the time. And sometimes I slip up. And for that reason, I'm super imperfect. I think, I, th I think you've already heard me say that like seven times in the past, like maybe three podcasts. Uh, but I just want to emphasize that I am imperfect and I'm asking you to do anything that I'm asking you to do here and that I'm teaching you about to do the same, to do it imperfectly, but to take action on it. All right. So welcome to another Mentorship Monday with these little bite-sized episodes, 10 to 15 minutes. If you've not been rocking with us and you're brand new, first of all, welcome. If you've been day one with me, thank you so much. With these episodes right here, it drops every Monday and we're taking 10 to 15 minutes to teach you about something that you can start to do from the standpoint of creating better habits in your life so that you can create a better life for yourself as you interact with the stressors and the feelings and all the uncomfortable things that all of us have to interact with. All right. So this last week, we walked you through the layers of behavioral change. And this last week, we touched on sleep. Today's emphasis is going to be nutrition. So the premise of here is going to be change your nutrition, change your life. And if I'm being honest, as a dietitian, I'm, I'm super biased when it comes to this because we touched on sleep this last time. Usually right here when we talk about food, that's my bread and butter. And for those that didn't know, you know, I started my career as a registered dietitian with eating disorders. And then I moved into community nutrition where I was able to create sustainable ways for people to eat not only fresh meals, but understand nutrition and make sure that they were not food insecure. And I think that's something that tends to happen in a lot of underprivileged communities. And so it was really great to be able to do that. And that built into being able to help high performing athletes on the major league level and also at the minor league level and also helping other elite level athletes throughout the process as well. All of that kind of built into what I'm doing right now, where there's a huge emphasis on habits and there's also a huge emphasis on your nutrition. And, and as a registered dietitian, I want to make sure that we're covering all the bases. Okay. So let's run you through real quick. Those, those layers of behavioral change as it pertains to helping you to create identity based statements and identity based habits. Because that's usually going to be the kicker for you. You have to embody the type of person that does X, Y, and Z. Because if you look at your identity right now, your identity is closely tied to the things that you say and the things that you do. Because we have to think about that for a sec. If you're someone right now who is riddled with overwhelm, and let's be honest, I mean, it's it's getting towards the, the holiday season and the new year, so that makes a lot of sense. If you're someone who is riddled with overwhelm and anxiety, and discomfort, it's very likely that the way that you were operating throughout your life is that you're just merely trying to survive, right? And so what we're trying to get you to do is to understand the person right now that you are embodying and then help you to find your way out of making sure that you can identify with habits, with sayings, with statements that push you towards the outcome that you desire. All right. So this last week we dove into it. So I want to make sure with the emphasis on nutrition today that you understand that these statements right here are meant to help you help you to develop a roadmap. So if you start to become and embody someone who does X, Y and Z towards the, the given outcome that you want, it gives you a little bit more of a formula with how to interact with your day to day, how to think, how to feel. So there's so much that goes into the statement. So I don't merely want you to be repeating the statement to yourself every day, but I want you to truly under, understand what it takes to embody that. Because once you start to ask yourself more questions, this is where it starts to get interesting. This is where for you, it brings you to a point where it's like, okay, if I'm the type of person who does X, Y, and Z, what does that person do? How do they think? What do they schedule in their planner? What do they say no to? What do they say yes to? So that so these questions right here, or these statements rather, are meant for you to understand what it takes in order to embody someone who does that one thing. All right, so let's go ahead and bring nutrition into the mix here. So let's kind of run through the different layers. So we got three different layers as it pertains to layers of behavioral change. So right, right smack in the middle, we have our identity, the person you are, right? Or the person you want to become. With that second level, we have your performance. So it's the actions that you take. So each and every one of these layers is that small piece, that small formula where it's A plus B plus C equals outcome. Okay. So the A part is going to be your identity. So the person that you are. 
The B part is going to be your performance. It's that second layer, the actions that you take. And that C part or that third layer is going to be your appearance, the way that the world perceives you. All right. And like I said earlier, any of these statements that we're providing, we're asking you to embody that person because it's going to ask, it's going to prompt you to start asking more questions. Okay. If, if the outcome or the person that I want to become does these things, how do I map that into my day? How do I get help with how to do that if I need help? Okay. So let's run you through the nutrition aspect. So first part, your A region or your your right smack in the middle, that first layer, your identity. So the person that you are. So the person that you are, the statement that's going to follow that is going to be the type of person who prioritizes my nutrition with each meal. Okay. And so that's someone who embodies that, someone who thinks about nutrition. That's someone who understands their feelings around nutrition. And that's someone who understands some of their some of their blind spots, if you will. Because there's a lot of learning as you kind of jump through levels here. So if you're someone right now who has no idea what nutrition is, then you want to embody someone who prioritizes my nutrition with each meal, you better damn well go get you a dietitian, right? You better damn well start reading some books, okay? So heading into that next phase, so the first part of our, our, our identity-based habit statement is I'm the type of person who prioritizes my nutrition with each meal, and that builds into the actions that you take or the actions that I take. Okay, and in doing so, by adding color to half of my plate with each meal, with fruits and vegetables. Okay, so that first region, that first layer is going to be, I'm the type of person who prioritizes my nutrition with each meal by adding color to half of my plate with fruits and vegetables. All right, that's the action that you're taking. You're trying to get yourself to a point where you understand the value in this case of fiber rich fruits and vegetables right and you can insert any type of action that you want to take here okay so if your goal is hey i really want to really want to change my body composition i really want to change my body or i really want to change my energy or i really want to change my relationship with food you're going to have to within these statements you're going to have to create a statement for you that really resonates with you and again if you're someone who doesn't know how to do that that's a very good question and a very good avenue because you're going to have to go learn that. You're going to have to go seek someone out who knows more than you, who can teach you, who, who can hold space for all the stuff that you're bringing to, to the table, pun intended. <laughs> okay. So there's a lot that goes into this. Again, these statements aren't something that you need to do right in this moment, but it's something as you create that statement, it's something that you're going to get a bit more info as it pertains to what you need to do in the next steps. All right, so let's look at our, our third layer or our C in this, in this equation, if you will. So this is your appearance, the way the world perceives you. So perhaps, and this is what tends to happen with most people, like it feels good when other people see your changes, right? But it can't be the only layer because that layer is, is penetrable. You know, if something happens, you can't always just, you know, devote your life to the outcome of, of losing 10 pounds and keeping it off. It has to go deeper. All right. So the way the world perceives you, an example of that might be, and others have made comments on my energy and how different I look. And this is important too, right? So when we look at this from the standpoint of creating positive experiences or positive rather intentions in your subconscious, put yourself in that place, put yourself in that place where it's where you can actually sit with the idea that others are making comments on how energetic you are. Others are making comments on how different you look. And sit in that joy or sit in, in whatever feelings come up as that happens. And again, if you're someone who's like, yeah, I don't want others to make comments on, on how I look. Okay, cool. Well, then let's keep it to how energetic you look or how excited you are to cook more at home. Like put yourself in that place and really truly feel those feelings because that is going to build up thoughts, memories, feelings in your subconscious that are actually going to help you when, when inevitably life kind of gives you that dip. All right, so let's run through our, our whole identity-based statement here. And again, this is meant to not only create the person that you want to embody, but it's going to create questions with how to get there. Okay, and you should have some of those answers. And if you don't, that's where you need an expert to help you. All right, so let's run it through. I'm the type of person who prioritizes my nutrition with each meal by adding color to half of my plate that are fruits and vegetables. And others have made comments on my energy, and how different I look. 
All right. We ran you through that sentence. And again, it's meant to give you a little bit more of a formula of the type of person that you want to embody. And you can go ahead and substitute if you're someone from a goal standpoint or an outcome standpoint who really wants to focus in on, on recovery, right? Because you're trying to get your, your body really moving. You're trying to make sure that you maximize your performance by doing that. Then the emphasis here or the statement here needs to be recovery driven. If you're someone who wants to change your body composition, then the emphasis needs to be on fat loss. OK, but it can't solely be about your appearance. It has to be about the tactics and the actions and the person you want to embody that gets you there. OK, if you're simply someone who just wants to cook better from home or someone who wants to instill better food values in your family, it needs to make sure that you that you kind of add in those areas of emphasis. All right. And, and again, if you don't know how to do that, then you got to get an expert on board that's going to help you with that. All right. So, you know, by now. After every episode, I'm giving you homework. All I want you to do here is, is making sure that as you look forward, when this gets launched, it'll be launched in 2021, you know, in December 2021, 2022 is upon us. Do yourself the favor. If something is speaking to you, don't wait until January 1st or December 31st to start doing it. Do it right now because the information is readily available. The application is what most people need and what most people invest in to get you to get there. OK, so what I'd like you to do is take a screenshot if something spoke to you. I just want you to go ahead and tag us at I made it pod on IG or you can tag me personally at Desi Abeta and just let me know what what spoke to you. All right. The added emphasis here is making sure that you're creating some consistency so that you can create a catalyst heading into the next day. I'm not even talking about the next year, but into the next day. All right. We got some cool things dropping before the end of the year as well. So make sure that you stay tuned. I got something that is uh, another cool project that I'm excited about. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about that in future episodes. So may I love to you all. We'll see you. Peace.